The Aeronautical Development Agency has invited bids for AMCA buffet response analysis, wind tunnel buffet testing, and aeroelastic optimization, that is expected to cost around 30.5 lakh rupees, and will be completed in the next 32 months. The team will work on tail buffet response analysis, under which vibrations will be measured that is caused by strains or accelerations, which is fundamentally the responses of the twin vertical tails to random aerodynamic forces. Flutter analysis will also be done in various configurations, to ensure that the AMCA is safe and free from self-excited vibration at all points in the flight envelope. That includes weapon bay flutter analysis with door open and closed in later phases, and flutter analysis when one missile is fired or one drop tank is ejected. Under the aeroelastic optimization, a high efficiency optimization will be done on the wing structure design, that includes optimization of the exterior surface of the wing and also the interior structural properties, that will provide significant improvement of the aircraft performance. The participating supplier team will also have to sign a non-disclosure agreement with the Aeronautical Development Agency, and all items developed by the supplier team under this project will be the property of Aeronautical Development Agency, and no details can be disclosed by the supplier. The DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment is presently in the process of developing a new unmanned aerial vehicle called Archer, and in this regard, the DRDO has released an expression of interest inviting interested Indian companies for the manufacturing assembly and integration of Archer UAV. The development work will be done in multiple phases, that includes manufacturing and assembly of airframe, that will be around 300 kg including metallic and composite parts, electrical integration testing and checkout of UAV, followed by participation in the flight testing of Archer UAV. The Indian company will have to provide four flight-worthy UAV prototypes in the development phase, and an initial 20 UAVs will be procured by the armed forces. The Archer UAV is expected to be ready by early 2023, and will be used in surveillance and reconnaissance operations in high-altitude regions. The DRDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment is developing a new 9x19mm submachine gun, and with the advent of new technologies and design concepts, a latest submachine gun will be purchased from the global market for study purpose, for which the DRDO has invited bids for the supply of seven submachine guns magazines and spares. The submachine gun will have a barrel length between 7.5 to 10.5 inches, and it must not weight more than 2.8 kilograms, and the overall length must not be more than 775 millimeters in but open condition. Acceptance test will be carried out in both single shot and auto mode, and accuracy test at 200 meters range, and all ammunition and range facility will be provided by the armament research and development free of charge. The DRDO is testing the Astra Mark 1 launcher with bi-directional data link. The Astra launcher with two-way data link will allow mid-course correction, retargeting of enemy aircraft and buddy mode engagement while the Astra missile is in flight. The data link will also allow transmission of information such as kinematic status and target acquisition by the missile seeker, that will increase the kill probability of the indigenous air-to-air -air missile. The Indian Air Force has signed a 300 crore rupees deal with Russia for acquiring 70,000 AK-103 rifles under emergency provisions. The Indian Air Force has a requirement of 1.5 lakh new rifles, and the new AK-103 rifles will be delivered by November, while the remaining part of the requirement would be met after India and Russia sign a deal to locally produce the more advanced AK-203. The 762 by 39 magazines from previous AK generations are compatible with the AK-103, which increases interchangeability. The Indian Air Force has also received 4,716 rifles, that have been procured as part of a larger 1.45 lakh units contract by the Indian Army. 
with the active participation of startup companies and medium small and micro enterprises, Bharat Dynamics has started undertaking development of next generation weapons systems for the armed forces with artificial intelligence technologies and robotics. Bharat Dynamics is also setting up new manufacturing units like Seeker Facility Center, Warhead Production Facility, and High Temperature Carbon Composite Manufacturing Facility. The Conquers missile test equipment and Conquers launcher test equipment have been developed in-house, as an indigenous substitute to the foreign equipment imported earlier by the Indian Army. Indigenization of a few components and sub-assemblies of anti-tank guided missiles and underwater weapons has also been successfully completed.